This is from an exhibit at the Titanic Museum. Most people find it very difficult to keep their hands submerged in the water for more than a minute. There are no special devices installed. It's simply because the water temperature is faithfully recreated to match the actual ocean conditions when the Titanic sank, at a frigid 2 degree. If that's hard to grasp, consider this. A strong, fit young man could only endure it for 8 seconds, while most people pull their hands out within 5 to 20 seconds due to the intense stinging pain. One visitor who tried it shared this reflection. The moment I put my hand in the water, I suddenly understood why Rose couldn't save Jack. In such extreme cold, any struggle is futile. The museum also simulates the ship's imbalance as its hull split apart, with a steep tilt that allows visitors to physically experience the vessel's gradual loss of control. Most visitors begin to feel physiological discomfort from the tilt within 15 seconds. As one participant recounted, I was gripping the railing with all my strength, but my knees still wouldn't stop shaking. Only then did I realize how terrifyingly real Jack and Rose's struggle in the movie was.